Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be going over a CSS3 uh, property called Transition. And Transition is something that's really cool. It can be used in all sorts of different ways to create many different types of effects. So before we get going with Transition, I'm just going to tell you that you can use it with any version of Chrome as long as you have the WebKit prefix. Uh, it goes back Firefox all the way to version 4 with the Moz prefix. Uh, it doesn't work with any version of IE until 10, which is really unfortunate. Uh, and then Safari, it goes all the way back to 3.1 with WebKit, Opera 10.5 with the O, um, and then pretty much iOS, Android. Uh, so let's check it out here and see exactly what we're going to do with it. What Transition does is it allows you to change properties, let's say on a hover, like sort of like you normally would. Let's say, you know, when we hover over this, it adds a... Um, and underline to this link. Uh, but let's let's do something a little bit more drastic. See this white background here that has the uh, the border radius on it? We're going to add that to be let's say a different color. We're going to say it's going to turn it's going to turn um, to a dark gray. Well, a lightish gray. Let's check it out here and let's go to our CSS. And in fact, the color gray that the background is is a 666. So I actually want to have it uh, disappear. Well, let's have it disappear to start. And then on hover, it's going to show up. So let's go to where that border radius is that we have. And it's this tut nav list item. And instead of the background that we're giving it, I'm going to give it a background of, uh, well, I'm going to give this a background of 666. So now let's come back to our page. You can see uh, there's no background. It's just the same gray. It's the same color, so it's matching, right? So now on hover, we're going to do something different. We're going to do um, tut nav and then the list item, and we're going to hover. And on hover, we're going to give it a background uh, color of white. I'm actually going to just have this be background color as well. And I might send me cool in here. So let's check out this page. So now when you hover over these, this white shows up. Okay, well that's a little drastic. Uh, it's a little shocking to see that white come in. What if we want to have this like ramped up and it wants to be a little bit smoother? Well, we can use CSS transition. And to do that, I've grabbed some code from css3please.com, uh, just like we had done before. I'm going to paste it in here. It includes all the brow uh, browser prefixes for you. And this is what the transition looks like for CSS3. We're saying what we're going to transition, how long it's going to take, and then how uh, the effect should look. So this is what your effect will look like. This is called the timing function. And there are several different options you can use here. You can use something like linear so that the, it linearly ramps up. You can ease it in. Uh, you can ease it in. You can ease it both ways, I should say. You can ease it in, ease it out, ease it in and out. Um, and what that does is a slow start and a slow end. Um, and, or you can have it uh, like a Bezier curve. And we're not going to be going over that today because it's a little, you know, a little more than, than this tutorial needs. But we're going to leave this at ease out just because it looks nice. I'm going to actually ramp this up to be 0.2 seconds instead of uh, 0.3 seconds. It's just a little bit quicker. And you'll notice this all, right? We're only really changing things. We're changing the white color here, uh, and that's all it's going to do. But let's say we had multiple things that we wanted to do, uh, which we'll show you in a second. You can see that you can choose exactly what you want to change uh, on transition. And you'll also notice that we put this transition on the object itself, not the hover state or, or the click state or any of that stuff. You can also actually specify a transition delay too, but we're going to not have a delay. So uh, let's save this and then check out exactly what it did. So we'll refresh here, and as you can see, it fades in. It's really nice. So let's add something else. Let's now change the width as well. So we had uh, these set to be just whatever, 100% before. So what if we give these width of 40% on hover? We might want to actually start this out at 100% uh, because it's not specified anywhere here. So I'm going to do this here. I'm going to add 100%. And now you can see each one of these is going to shrink down to 100%. So you'll want to notice that when you hover over it here, it's freaking out because uh, on the hover state, it's changing the width of this item. And you'll notice that 
the, when the width is no longer on and it's no longer hovering, then it goes back over it and it, it just might create some problems. So you might want to keep that in mind with how you are adjusting your properties. Um, that's, of course, something to look for if you want to make sure that your animations are going to be looking correct. Well, what do we do if we don't want the color to animate, but we want the width to animate? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this, and I'm just going to say width here. I'm going to save it, and now let's refresh our page. And you'll notice the, uh, the width is changing on hover, but the background color is no longer fading in. So you can set up different transitions for different items. Okay, well let's say we want to add a transition on something else. We want to add a transition as well onto the uh, uh, color as well, but we want it to be completely different. Well, I've made another transition here, and I'm going to paste it in just like this. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to stack it here with a comma. So we're having our width is easing out over uh, 0.2 seconds, and then we have our background color uh, over the course of two seconds is linear. So let's save this, let's go to our page here, and let's see exactly what that's doing. So you can see now that the color is fading in linearly over the course of two seconds, fading out over the course of two seconds as well, while the other width is going at the 0.2 seconds. So let's put a delay on one of these. Let's put a delay on this width here. In fact, I'm just gonna put a two second delay and let's go back here, refresh, and see what's going to happen. Waits two seconds, and then shrinks. One, two, shrink. One, two, shrink. Cool. So this is a really interesting result because it's not going to shrink unless you hold it for more than two seconds. So this is the delay. And to and, and use the delay, it's really just adding a second value at the end here. So keep in mind, you can use transition on almost anything. You can transition the position. Uh, you can so if you have it like a top position set at zero and then top set at forty, it's going to travel that distance. You can use it on padding, margin, border, any of this stuff, and it's going to be really cool as long as you you know don't ruin the usability of your site and you can keep things really effective. So like one course is maybe sometimes people put this transition with a a fade to the change of color on their anchor link sometimes, as long as it's a quick enough fade, or as long as it works with your site. In fact, I'm using it uh, quite a bit on my site. If we go to my site here, scottfalinski.com, you can see that I have a uh, transition here on hover on this main image. Uh, I have it on this border too. I'm adding padding to a uh, a border bottom of these anchor links and that padding is increasing and decreasing which is how they are shooting up like this. So transition is something that can be used to add some really nice effects to your site. As always this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter. Uh, we're also now on Facebook too so check us out with there we have a link at the Level Up Tuts YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.